Hey there, dancers. So this one is for my level three students. Um, this will be an advanced ballet class video. You can do this anywhere from home. Um, I'm gonna be in the studio using a bar, but you don't have to. You can use the back of a chair, um, the back of a couch, a kitchen countertop, anything that works for you. Um, in terms of attire, make sure you have something that you can move in, leggings, and you know a shirt is fine. You can wear your regular ballet clothes if you wanna throw on a leotard and tights, leotard and leggings, something like that. And in terms of your footwear, I would say regular ballet shoes is perfect. If you do have carpet, it may be a little bit difficult. You may want to go for bare feet um, or something like that. But just be mindful, be safe in your own environment, um, but be mindful of a couple of things. I want you to really take this time to focus on your alignment, shoulders over hips, hips over feet, thinking about that core belly button to the spine and feeling that pinch throughout this class and really maintaining that. Um, long necks and then of course coordinating your head movement with the body movement so when we're going to the front head is open to the side head forward and to the back so that we're really using the entire body as we do this um, I do want to go through a full class as much as possible we're gonna start with bar work we'll do a little bit of warm-up and get into it and then we will take a stretch on the floor you can do it this anywhere um, and then we'll come to the center for some things that we can hopefully do at home um, with a smaller range of space available. So let's get started. We're gonna begin with our sixth position. Feet together, toes forward, two hands on your bar, whatever you'll be using. Think about before we begin that alignment. Again, shoulders relaxed and down away from your ears, belly button to the spine, pinched and held. Nice long neck, chin lifted, and we'll go through our full warm up. okay? So find your bar, whatever you'll be using today. shoulder and left ear to your left shoulder full circle to the right four counts and three and four same thing left full circle and back to center demi plie knees over your toes and stretch again plie and stretch through your feet, lift the heels, straighten the knees, and keep those knees straight as you lower down. Repeat it, plie, and stretch. Demi, two, and stretch. Third one, take this as a roll up, all the way through to that high releve, and lower those heels back down. Take your right heel back and press into that calf stretch, keeping your front leg bent, and making sure that your feet are staying parallel. And switch to the other side. Press that left heel back, feeling the stretch along the back of your leg, and hold that pressure there. And come back up. Left hand to the bar. We're gonna bring our feet to sixth position, take that stretch up and over along the right side of the body. side, take your right hand to the bar, feet together, left arm goes up and over. And come back up. Now what we're going to do last, I'll swivel this around so you guys can see me, is take a flat back stretch. So bring your arms to the back. First is parallel feet together, just open up through the shoulders, through your back. And then come back into it, take your flat spine all the way forward and down. Feeling your hamstring stretch and stay. Let the arms come down and we'll plie all the way down as far as you can. Press through the heels to stretch back up. And again plie all the way down and press through the heels to the floor reaching the hips back up to the ceiling. Let the upper body hang Relax your head and neck. And bend the knees, plie, roll up through the spine. Nice and slow to the top. Okay, shake it out. If there's any other stretches you need, if anything's 
feeling particularly tight, make sure you stretch that if you need to go outside of the hips, um, anything for your spine. Be able to do that at home. You can pause the video here and just do whatever you need. And then we're going to get into some plies and tondus next. Okay, dancer. So coming to one hand on the bar, we'll start with that left hand and feet in first position. Take the arm just a little breath at the bottom. Five, six, and seven, eight. Two demi plies. One, and stretch. Two, and stretch. Ground plie all the way through. And forward bra up. And over with that come right down to the front. And legs at the back, take just a little releve at the top to lift before you open second. And same thing here. So you have two demi plies in second, one ground plie all the way through. Take that vertebra up and over towards your bar and lift, finish with that releve. Come down into fifth, repeat it again, two demis and ground plie all the way through. We'll take this one down and up, reaching vertebra back and just a releve press, no su su, just pressing the heels up. Back to first, finish with four little plie releves here, keeping the ankles working and strong. This last one, holding your balance, stay right there and open to come back down, yeah. Okay, so find your first position, left hand to the bar. Make sure that those pinky toes are nice and flat. And open the arms side. Demi plie one. And stretch. And two. And stretch. Ground plie down. Press the heels right into the floor. And come right forward. Reach up and over. Reaching long to come up. And be straight. Press for leve. Lower the heels with straight knees. And tendu open to second. Demi one. And stretch. Plie two. And stretch. Grand plie down. to come up and over, and over that inside shoulder. Lift up nice and tall through the spine, and releve up. Lower the heels back down, crossing into fifth. Demi plie one, and stretch. Plie two, and stretch. Grand plie down. Taller through the back, up and back. Shoulders square. And press and elevate. Just lift those heels and replace back down. Coming back to first. Four plie releves. Arm goes down to that on bow position. Hold your releve up. Plie. And push up to that full height. Last one here. Push up to that releve. Lock the knees, keep everything straight. Arms to first. And test that balance, belly button to your spine. And open the arms to second, demi plie down. And stretch. Okay, dancers, shake it out. Now what I want you to do here is pause this video, take a quick rewind to do the exact same thing, right hand on the bar for that full plie sequence, okay? And we'll come back for tendus. Okay, so we're gonna move on to our usages in fourth position along with our tendus, flexing the feet just to keep them warming up. And what we'll do, dancers, is go right from the left side of the bar to the right, um, no stopping in between, so we'll keep the sequence going. So right foot crosses in front, you've got the arm, left arm on the bar, and you're taking the arm through first, all the way up to fifth. Tendu and flex and point. Close fifth. Tendu, plie fourth. Tendu and fifth. Same thing to the side. You have point and flex and point. Close back. Tendu side, plie and point. Close fifth behind. So we're ready to go back. You have one and flex and point. Close fifth. Tendu, plie, point and close. Last one to the side and plie and close fifth. So from here, we're gonna take a new pattern, two tendus to the front, switch inside leg, left leg back, two tendus back, 
to the right foot again, two to the side. A little demi plie here, point up to that nice cross fit position. Finding your balance, holding that six two up, and we'll take the arm open, detonate at the bar, whatever you're using, so we come down and start on the other side. Okay, so you've kind of got two parts to this. We're gonna go right through the left to the right um, without stopping, okay? So find your left hand to the bar, right foot in front, make sure that's fully crossed heel to toe, and you're using those inner thighs to keep that crossing nice and strong. starting with the left hand on the bar, working the right leg, and then turning immediately to the other side so that we're using both sides. Um, we're going to start with that right foot in front. The arm's going to take its first and up to fifth, same thing we just did. So you have one, slow, and quick grip, two tendus to the side. Slow and fifth. One close front, one close back. Slow to the back, and a one, two, one tendu, plie up, and plie Close fit, reset, and same thing going dig a check. Hold and fifth, one and two and stay. Close fifth, a one and two and stay. Close fifth, a one and two and dig a check. Plie pull up. This time change. Same thing, left leg. Alrighty. So you have front side and back. Tandu plie su su to reset. Same thing with dig a check. Front side and back. Dig a check side. Plie pull up and change. Okay, so let's go to it. Right foot in front, left hand on the bar. Maintain that alignment and really think about here changing the head directions. We're really starting to get a little bit more complicated, a little bit faster. Maintain those directions with whichever leg you're going, okay? So here we go. Thank you. 
Okay, so bat majete, I want you to come to two hands on the bar. So what we're going to do is start in that first position, um, relaxing the shoulders, again maintaining that belly button to the spine position in the core, and really holding that strong. We'll do it as we do in class, with the first set, hands on the bar, nice and light. 8-8, um, 4-4, eight, eight, four, four, two, two, one, 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 one. We'll take an immediate repeat of that, bringing the arms to second. So no holding the bar, and repeat the entire thing, okay? I'll do the first set with you and then coach you through that second set. So let's go, first position. At the right, one, two, accent in, in, five, six, seven, eight, switch left, two, three, four, five, six, maintain that four, and right, two, three, four, switch left, two, three, four, keep it small and controlled, just one, two, one, two, and open the arms. A five, six, seven, eight, keep going, left, three, four, five, six, second, in, in, and four to the right, make sure you're not slamming your heels, two right, two left, just one, just one, just one, just one, and demi plie, finish that stretch for the calves, and shake out the legs a little bit, okay, good work, guys, next we're going to come into a little bit of a ranjan, and start to work a little bit with some passe and tramp work. Okay, so some Ronde Jam and some work with some Passe and Coupier. Uh, I think that what we're gonna do, let me think. Hmm. Yeah, we'll work through both the Sur le Coupier wrapped position um, as well as front and back in that coupe. So what I want you guys to do, I'm gonna show you with my right hand to the bar, working with my left leg. Of course, what I want you to do is do as we normally do, begin on the left, with your right foot crossed in front and working the right leg first. Then we'll come around and switch sides. So I'm gonna give you the demonstration on the left side just for the sake of switching both sides for myself. So what we're gonna do is start with that same preparation as always, little breath at the bottom and take your plie seven, open to the side eight. You have one and two and plie, open all the way through to that allongé line. Lengthen as you come through for that en l'air, round de jambe, all the way around to the back, and brush ton de front. Reverse, same thing. Two round de jambes, one with plie, all the way open to the back lift, find that 45 degrees, and all the way around, controlling the hip here. Bring the arm down, coupe front, passe lift, coupe back, and plie as you close. Coupe. Again, passe lift, and coupe down, plie front. Bring everything up to that susu position, cross fifth, sur le coup de pied, wrapping it here, heel in front, toe behind, and then find that balance there in sur le coup de pied before you finish in fifth front and come down. So I'm gonna show you guys on my left side. What I want you to do is start on the right, left hand to the bar, working the right leg, press pause on this video, and then replay that same section, so you can do the right hand of the bar working the left leg, okay? So, find your fifth, right foot in front, left hand to the bar. And plie front, open side. One, and two, and plie, all the way back. Now keep those knees straight as you lift front, all the way side, carry to the back. And rush through, reverse, one, straighten and brush to the back, all the way around, and close, fifth, coupe front, passe lift, coupe back, plie in fifth, and coupe back, passe lift, coupe front, plie closing fifth, spring up to that fifth position, wrap that outside foot, right foot's coming up, first and then hold that. Okay, 
answer is good. Shake it out. Now again, what I want you to do here is just take a quick pause with the video. Rewind that just a little bit so that you can do the exact same thing on the other side and we'll move on. Okay, so moving on to frappe um, and a little bit of petit battement, what I want you guys to do is start with the left hand to the bar. We are gonna do this one both sides right away. So we'll start with the left hand to the bar, working the right leg and then turn right away and go to the other side. So right foot is in front, you have your same preparation as always. Arm in first as you tendu second and then open the arm second as you flex in front. You have four frappe each way. So you have one, two, three, four to this side. Two, three, four to the back. Two, three, four to the side. Two, three, and pull into the front arm coming down. You've got your petit ballon here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and open. Close fifth with plie, pull it up right to that cross fifth, and detourne, closing down, prep, same thing, flex. Four, 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 only three, and pull in, petit battement for eight counts, and close fifth plie, suzu, finish where you started, okay? So we're going through both sides, left hand to the bar, here we go, right foot front, don't forget that preparation. And tanu, flex, one, head open. And change your head and leg side. Three, four to the back. Two, three, four, only three. Pull in, coupe, and back in front. Keep that going, petit bon moi. And open fifth, pie susu, take your neck. Same thing left right away, tendu and flex. One, two, keep that head coordination. Just three, pull in coupe, and petit bon moi. And open, fifth plie, sous sous. Take your name, finish where you started, and open, come back down. Okay, everybody, shake it out. We're gonna come down to the floor next for some stretching. Grab some water if you need to. Okay, everybody, let's come all the way down to the floor. Start with that butterfly position, just bringing the feet in, using the elbows here, grabbing the ankles to just push down to the sides of the knees. Keep this as an easy stretch, using the elbows to just push down gently on those knees. And at this one, we're going to come all the way up and over, so grab those feet, come all the way down. Head forward and relax. And swing the head over to one side, full stretch towards the knee. And same thing, other side.
Keeping the knees up towards the ceiling. Watch they don't dip forward. We'll open the arms and reach up and over to the side. Just like we talk about in class, remember this is a side stretch. So you should feel one shoulder stacked on top of the other. No twisting forward to face your toes. And keep pulling that stretch to the side. Good. And elbow comes down in front of your knee. Twist up and look back. your legs. We're going to take the shoulders square towards your toe and reach two arms down, head down. Flat back, stretching forward over that leg. And come back up. Bring the arms back open and same stretch on the other side, reaching up to come over. Stack the shoulders one on top of the other, keeping that side stretch. Feel like someone grabs you by the wrist and gives you a little pull, keeping that stretch consistent to the side. Elbow in front of the knee and twist up, looking back and feeling that twist in the spine. And we're going to look and turn facing our leg, shoulders squared, reach two arms forward, flat back stretch.
rest off of your front knee. Just stretch a little bit away from your leg. Again, keep thinking about those hips going down and forward so you continue to feel that stretch on the front of your right hip. And all the way down. We're gonna rotate open with your left leg, knee and foot turning out. If you can, come all the way down to your elbows. If not, keep it right here with the hands on the inside of the heel. Thinking about bringing your hips backward behind you as you stretch. 
stretch your forehead forward. That will lengthen the back out, and you'll feel that little extra pull on your right hamstring. Point the foot through. We're going to really stretch all the way down here and to that right split. Working on the front leg and then trying to get that back leg straight from there. Okay, and watch your squareness. Shoulders and hips should be square to the front. Watch so you don't open sideways into more of a straddle. This is truly a front split. Hold that stretch, try to get a little bit deeper. Breathing through it. And when you're ready, bring that back leg all the way around and shake it out. Okay, dancers, last stretch for your back. Come all the way down into your stomach. Swivel around and press your arms underneath your shoulders, pressing through the floor to reach up and back. Here, adagio is one of those things that luckily you kind of are focusing on stretch, strength, and stability. You don't need a whole lot of space to do something like this. So, we're going to take a little bit of a long one because we can. Um, we'll take the let's see, I'm going to have you guys start in fifth. Again, I'm going to show you with my left leg for this one, but of course, I want you to start left hand to the bar working your right leg. So, we're starting in fifth. You've got that little breath at the bottom five, six, arm goes through seven. And eight. The arm takes with the leg all the way up through Deblope and to the back. Brushing through first, lifting arabesque close fifth. Same thing from the back, reaching up through passe and Deblope arabesque. Brush through first and lift, lift, lift to the front, close fifth. To Deblope side, lifting that knee but not lifting your hip and up four counts each. You're going to have one passe coming up. Following with that quarter bra reverse and passe up through your plie to chasse lunge. Now that inside leg is going to place back. I really want you to focus on that full foot on the floor here and maintaining the weight of the body on that front leg. So you'll open the arm, full ground quarter bra in towards the bar and open, reverse out and in all the way down. Last thing is pushing onto that front leg. I'm going to give you the opportunity to choose if you're on something that's like a carpet. Um, you may want to do this just on flat, coming up to arabesque and lift. If you've got the ability to come out of that last quarter bra and push onto a releve, first arabesque, that's what I'd like you to do. Um, again, if not, just do it on flat. You'll get the same effect. You'll still work your back, okay? So we're thinking about all of those core elements belly button to the spine, not gripping the bar. If, can, if, you, if you really want to try this off the bar or with a light touch, you can. Um, give yourself an opportunity to test your balance a little bit here and there. So I want you to start with your right foot in front. We're going to come into that fifth position, left hand to the bar, right foot in front, and I'm going to show you on the other side, okay? So find that fifth all the way across. Four at the bottom. Arm through the first and open. Arm with your leg. One. All the way up through Deblope front. Open and rush through the first. Two arabesque. Close fifth. Reverse from the back. And push from the knee. Arabesque. 
Brush through first. And lift. Close fifth. To the side. Lift that knee without your hip. And once more. Big passe up through the leg and closing back. Quarter bra reversed. Passe up. And plie chasse. Bring that lunge and over. Towards your bar and push to the back. And reverse. Push, push, push as far as you can in each direction. All the way down to the front. And come into that arabesque. Releve or flat. Find that length, find that balance. And finishing your fifth, just as you always would, just where you started, head over that outside shoulder. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, shake it out. Nice deep breath. And what I want you to do is go ahead and pause this, rewind, go over the exact same thing on the other side, okay? And I'll meet you for a grab up, Mom. Okay, everybody, so coming into the center, you can move your bar away. Um, if you were in the kitchen doing something, you need to make sure that now you have enough space. So just check if you need to move some furniture, you've got enough space around you for a grand ma for a little bit of movement with some balances and things like that. So we're gonna begin this one with an en face position straight forward, making sure that your right foot is in front, crossed in fifth, five, six, seven, eight. So you're going to take the pattern of point, lift, point, close fifth, and two grand ma's in each direction. Same thing, side, lift, point, close back, one grand ma close front, one, close back to the back, and lift, and point, close fifth, one, and two. That right leg is going to step through, susu fifth, plie. Now no turns, but just find that passe balance, and close back. So you're starting the exact same thing on the other side. Point, lift, point, and close, two grand bat maws. Same thing, side, lift, point, and close, two grand bat maws. And point, lift, point, and close to the back. Two, step that left foot through, fifth, and plie. One passe on releve and close back to finish. Alrighty? So just working on a little bit of a balance um, and stability exercise and really working on maintaining the height of those extensions without sacrificing your upper body alignment. No crunching as we do this and no sacrificing that bottom leg. Okay? Keep everything straight and controlled. So right foot front on fast. Here we go. Arms, open second, tendu, lift, point, and fifth. One front, close, and two. To the side, tendu, lift, point, close, fifth, ground back, ma, and two. Hold that core strong. Back, lift, point, and fifth, right behind you, and two. Step that right foot through. Susu, plie, passe, releve, and close back. Same thing, lift. Point and lift and point fifth. Grab up ma and two to the side. Anchor that standing leg. And to the back. Point, lift, point, and fifth. One and two. Step your left foot through. Two fifth. Plie. Passe up and close back. Okay, shake it out, everybody, and we'll keep going. Okay, guys, let's keep going in the center, and I'm going to keep playing off of this adagio theme. I think adagio is something that's really great you can do at home. Um, it'll help your stability, help your balance, um, really work on your element of control in your technique, and something you can do right at home easily. So let's start with quasi fifth position. And again, you may be looking at me as like a mirror where it may look like I have my left foot front. I'm not sure how that'll turn out. But of course, I want you to imagine in front of you is your mirror, just like we're in the studio, and you're gonna come into quasi crossed with the right foot in front. Watch, you're not twisting so far that we lose the sight of the back shoulder and back hip. All right, just a little tilt from en face to quasi. So our arms are down prepared on bot. You have a little breath, seven and eight. We'll start with the first chiquetti porta bra. One, and open two, open three, coming down four. Through the third porta bra, two and three, following the outside hand for both. 
We're going to come from there, actually keep the arms open, come from there into ground plie, all the way down, again, keeping that element of control and alignment in focus, and chasse through the fourth to point that left foot and left heel drops back. Take your portebra forward, all the way down and around to the left, sweeping back. So as we do that, we come up onto this pointed right foot, quasi devant. Plie as you come all the way down, sweeping that portebra through, and brush through first to lift arabesque, right behind you and work on that promenade. We'll promenade all the way around. Nice and slow shifts at the heel. Back to where you started, give a little plie at the end. Pas de bray, coupe, picking up the left foot. Bigger pas de bray, right, left, closing fifth. Now I'm in quasi left foot front. So I'm just going to take that little bit of a chasse from here, chasse forward to fourth. My right leg is back. I'm going to do just a nice, slow, controlled adagio pirouette from fourth with the arms coming up and closing fifth back, ideally. If you guys close fourth, you know the cheat. Just coming from here up to land and slide it in, but try to close that right in fifth back, okay? So if that um, seems like a lot, which it is, it's a nice long adagio, what I want you to do is give this a little bit of a watch on one side, and then go ahead and do it with me, okay? So if you want to take a little bit of a review, just to mark it with music as I show you, um, do that, and then press rewind, and then actually do it with me on both sides, okay? So I'll give you your demo, it's up to you. So we're starting with that right foot front quasi. do it, be my guest, um, and we're going to keep moving. Okay, everybody, moving on and continuing with some more turns. So for this one, what we're going to do is start with tendus, run through the whole set with tendu, um, and then take a repeat with dégagé instead, okay? That'll really up your element of control um, and take that technique just a little bit further. So what you're going to do is start, again, finding your own space, 
Um, in front of you is the mirror. You're starting with your quasi right foot front, just as we normally do. Again, if you look at me and it looks like I have my left, I'm sorry. So we're in fifth position. You have your five, six, seven, eight. So I've, I have my right foot in front. My left arm, my back arm is coming up nice and high. So you have one tawny fifth, two with plie. Switch to the back leg, fifth, and with plie. Now switching to the hips and shoulders on fas. Right foot closes back, left foot closes back plie. One passe releve close front in fifth, and one close back. So just a single fifth turn. We're gonna take the same thing on the other side. So you have two tendus with plie to the back, with plie on fas, two traveling backward with plie, one passe releve close front, and one fifth turn close back. Okay, so what I'll do is, um, just as we did the last combination, I'll give you, I'll go through both sides, um, right and left, with tendu. If you want to watch that as you're marking it, and go through with music, be my guest. Um, and then take a rewind and actually do it. And then we'll go from there. Alrighty, so right foot front, find your fifth, either a mark or a full out run through. Arms to first, left arm up. One and two with plie. Switch. One and two with plie. On fast, right and left. Plie, right passe and right fifth turn. Close back. One fifth, second with plie. Switch. One and two plie. I have the left. Close back. Right. Close back. Plie passe. Fifth. One fifth turn. Shake it out. Now, if that was your mark, go ahead and do that one more time. Rewind it and do a full out. If that was your tendu set, press pause, rewind, do it again with dégagés. Okay, I'm counting on you to do it. Here we go. Okay, so moving into our traveling section of class, we can't, of course, really travel when we're at home, but we're going to take a little bit of a balance day combination with some pirouettes. Now I want you to again be mindful of your space at home. If you can move to an area where you can do a few pirouettes, something like you know a tile or hardwood floor, that would be great. If you don't have that anywhere where you have the space, um, maybe don't take these as full doubles or single turns. Um, maybe try for a single or just try for a balance instead. You'll work the same muscles, you'll still think about your spotting and all those elements. So again, more turning, you've got spotting is always number one. We're thinking about pinching the belly button to the spine, holding your core nice and strong. Strong arms lifted, not dropped, not too high, right across from that rib cage level. Strong first with elbows really maintained. And then really focus on the hook here. Um, when you're at home, you know, you guys have, I know you have time, I know you have kind of all the time in the world like me right now. And why not take it a couple extra times? You can run through this right and left, take a rewind, pause and rewind, and go back and do it again. Um, so that's what I'm going to give you here. I'll show you the right and the left, and then I'll give you the opportunity to run through that once or twice more just to really focus on those elements of the turns. So you're starting with your quasi right foot back. I'm in B plus here, and you have a little breath, seven and eight. Right foot and right arm extend to the corner front, balance back over to the right side and left side. Step out to the right, arms come out and up, suits so you. You should finish with that right foot front and fifth on fas. Tendu into fourth and one single pirouette. Landing fourth, reset tendu. Again, plie, push that double if you can, and point to close fifth. Repeat the whole thing on the same, um, on the other side. So we're starting from here with left. One, two, three, back, two, three, left side, and right side. Step out to the left, arms up, sujinu, close left foot front, and stretch, tanu to fourth. One single turn, close it back, and reset point, plie, double turn. If you have the space and you wanna go for it, and tanu to fifth to close. Okay, so I'll give you that one demo. Um, probably not going to do the double turns myself, but you know, I'll give you the timing for them. Um, again, if you don't have the space or the right kind of space, don't push for double turns. But if you've got some flooring where it's a little bit similar to our Marley, go for it. Just be safe. Um, don't wear socks. Socks will you'll slip. Um, but ballet shoes or your bare feet should be fine. Okay, so everybody right foot back. 
And if you want to do one mark through uh, with me like the last combinations, mark through the right and left for the timing, just to get it in your brain, and then give it a go, please feel free to do so. Okay, everybody, right foot back. And you have that low breath. Right side, sutanu, close fit, right foot front, tanu open, and forth. One single turn, close back, and tanu, reset, bie. Keep that sharp, sharp spot, and close fist. To the left corner, one, two, three, and back. Left side, right side, really use the upper body. Step to the left, sutanu, plie, tanu open, left foot back and forth. Push one, two, land it back, and close your fifth all the way down. Okay, guys, shake it out. Nice deep breaths. Whew. If that was your mark, go back and redo it with music, full out. If you've done it full out already, you want to stop and rewind, do it a second or third set. Please feel free to do so. Put in as much work as you can at home. Okay, guys? Okay guys, jumps. So of course we can't really do Grand Allegro at home. Um, I do, I mean, maybe you have space. If you have some space, feel free to go through a nice Tombe Padre, um, Glissade, Grand Jeté, Soda Shah at the end um, after this jumping section if you want to, again, if you have the space, but most people don't, so we're gonna stick to Petit Allegro here. What I want you to do is start with that right foot front. We're just on Fast Fifth position. We're gonna take a warm up jump here, four jumps, in fifth, changement, and four sautés in first, and we'll do that three sets. Again, fifth, fifth, and fifth, and first, 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 and first. One more set, and then finish those four sautés with a nice deep plie, and stretch it out, and we'll go forward from there, okay, everybody? So, right foot front, find your fifth. Four changement, and two, three, four sauté in first, three, four again. Really plie. First, 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 last set. One, two, three, four, first. And plie. Okay, everybody, shake out those legs. Coming into this next one. Alrighty, so to keep our cardio up, we're going to do another set of three. Right foot in front, again on fast. We've got four, change, ma. Now that right foot opens to second. Echappe, close back, and echappe, close front. Repeat it again. One, two, three, four. Look to the right, close back, look to the left, close back. And then one more third set, okay? Whew. So, Petit Allegro will really get your heart rate up. It'll help with your endurance. Um, I'm not gonna do too much here, but what you can do is go through our Petit Allegro class section, Press pause, rewind, and do those steps again. Okay, so for now, another warm up jump here. Let's start with those HFAs. So, right foot in front on FAS, four changements. And one, two, three, four HFA. One, and two, again. And one, and two. Last step. Really push through, please. Okay, everybody, shake it out. Again, big deep breaths. And we'll go from here. Okay, moving on to some petit jeté and some pas de chat. So you may need a little bit more space for this one, but it can still be done in a relatively small amount of space. Um, we are going to start with the right foot back. So you've got two jeté ton levés, and this combination we've done in class several times, um, so it should be a little bit familiar to you guys if you are one of my students. To the right, jeté, ton levé, jeté, ton levé, glissade, right, pas de chat, right, and in that coupe, right foot picking up behind the ankle, and a little pas de bray backside front to finish and start the whole thing on the other side. So it's left, jeté, ton levé, right, jeté, ton levé, left glissade, left pas de chat, and pick up pas de boue, right. 
Same thing on the other side. So one more time, you've got right and tone levé, left and tone levé. We said right, pas de chat, right, pick up that right foot, coupe, pas de vous, right. And the left, jeté, right, jeté, glissade, and pas de chat, pas de vous, right. Now in class, I always emphasize that a petite jeté travels where? Where does it really travel? Up, right? So in this constrained situation we're in with these at-home classes, um, hopefully that'll give you a little bit more incentive to not push forward too much, not to the sides too much. This is truly a step that goes up and then push straight up from there. So you're using your full plie, you're really getting into the legs um, and using the directions of the head as well. So it's over, over, front, over, and pas de right back to the front. Over the left side, over the right side, looking front glissade, over the left pas de chat, and pas de right. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do is give you this same sequence we've been working on. If you wanna go through this once with me as a mark, right and left, press rewind and then do it full out, be my guest, I think that's the best way to do it. Um, and then if you wanna try for a second or third set to really work on that cardio endurance, be my guest, do it again, press rewind, and go for once more. Okay, so let's start with the right foot back. And here we go. And chete one, son levé, two, up, glissade, pas de chat, pas de bourre. Left, and two, glissade, pas de chat, pas de bourre. Again, right, left, glissade, pas de chat, pas de bourre. And one, up, two, up, glissade, pas de chat, pas de bourre. Good. Woo, okay. Shake out those legs. If that was your mark, go do a full out. If that was your full out, do it again. All right? Okay, now I don't know everyone's um, situation at home in terms of how much space you've got. I'm assuming you have room for at least a little side to side for some shiny turns and PK turns. Um, what I'm gonna do first is give you just a little bit of music. Um, and what I want you to do at home is go ahead and use that music to take these shiny turns and PK turns with as much space as, you, as you've got. Um, so let's say we're preparing to do right shiny turns first. Find your spot. Shiny turn as far as you can. If you've got room for eight, ten, great. Um, if you've got room for only maybe three or four, finish your step all the way out. Come back to it. Reset. Try for another set of three or four and finish and then start in the left. So that you're doing about eight to ten um, on each side. So again, this will depend on how much space you've got, whether you need to go all the way down or you need to just do a little bit reset back to it and do a little bit more for a second round. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the music through. I'm just going to give you guys that music to do this with once you finish your right and left shiny turns. Try for some PK turns and the same amount. I want 8 to 10 on each side, either all the way down PK turns if you've got the space or if you want to take this as a manage, you can, or use the music to just go 3 or 4 down, finish it out, reset, 3 or 4 down, finish it out and start the same thing to the left, okay? If you need to move something to make sure you have something to spot, that's important. Um, move a picture, move a little piece of furniture, something to look at, um, and I'll get that music going for you guys.
with our reverence, um, a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a bow. Um, I want you guys to remember that we have the dance conditioning and stretch video up as well. So if you want to take at the end of this class, um, finish out your reverence, and then go ahead to the conditioning video um, and do the stretch section of that to kind of finish out and cool down, um, that would be great. Your body is fully warm. This is a great time to stretch. If you don't want to follow that video, you have your own stretches you'd like to do at home. This is, again, a great opportunity to do so. Your muscles are fully warm, the body is ready to stretch, and it's an awesome way to cool down. So in the meantime, before we do any of that, let's get to our reverence. We'll start with first position. to kind of lead these as we go. So I'll see you guys soon. I love you. I miss you. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep working, keep practicing, keep stretching. Okay, that is key. Point video is coming up next, so get ready for that one. Love you guys.